landed in Senegal, tired, sleepy, but um, last time I was bragging about the airport, but we, you guys really didn't see it. Um, so I'm gonna try and show a little bit, if it's possible for you to see. Um, so I'm taking the, I'm gonna take the stairs to stress my legs a little bit. But uh we are here. We gotta go to security. Going to go to just so that you know I may not be able to show you a lot here because there's a lot of police presence here. So I mean it is clean. Right now it's early in the morning. <laughs> so it's super super quiet. It is super super quiet right now, so I am glad everything will work out just fine. Well, this is the line. Obviously, you're gonna need. I'm gonna need a visa. I got my visa with no problems. Now I am just. I have to wait for my luggages. Got my luggage, uh, not my luggage. <laughs> now we are heading to customs. I got to through customs with no problems. Now I'm just getting out. Guys, I have to be careful not to video in Senegal because they have a lot of, you know, military around and they don't like to be video. So I have to be So careful. maybe next time I'll show you more. So... Is this the outside? So I made it out. Uh, that's one thing I like about Dakar is when you get here, there's no struggle with visas and getting through security and everything. Everything is just smooth and I love it. Right. This is nine o'clock in Senegal right now. 9.57 in the morning. <laughs> 9.57 in the morning. Uh, it's heat. Huh? Mm -mm. It's so hot right now. <laughs> you guys remember? Remember? But you guys remember, Gibril? You remember? Hey, we're back to Senegal. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to party. I'm going to No, no, merci. No. He just wanted me not to focus on video, the military oh, okay. or the policemen. Stay okay. away from them. Don't face the camera on them <laughs> to get myself in trouble. That's the Senegal. Okay, I didn't get to show you guys the airport, so that's it. So the surroundings. The airport is very young. It's five years old, five or seven. So it's very, very young and new, I should say. And that's just the outside, obviously. So while Jibril get my stuff settled. So after we get in a car, I'm just going to show you guys and be fair since I show you guys the roads, I talk about the road, the streets of Ghana, Bene, Togo. Now I talked to you guys about Senegal before, but I'm gonna just going to do this so you can see the drive, the roads, the development. Um, uh, okay. So Wait, so guys, I had to change my, my setting, oh, my card, so I missed the airport sign, but I'm back on now, so okay. we just came right. in the airport now, um, like I said, you know, the airport is very new, um, but I just wanted us to, you know, you can see the, the road, how smooth it is, um, and I'm not saying that, you know, the other places that you saw was not smooth, that's the sign we leave in the airport, as you can see. Uh, but I'm just going to let you just, uh, those
those of you who are from Senegal, you haven't been home, you know how I always said. Uh, or those of you who have not been in Senegal, um, just just to see the, um, just watch, um, you know, since I'm tired anyway, <laughs> I'm going to let you guys just, you know, uh, explore, um, drive with me, cruise with me from the airport um, to, to the city. But again, this is the city, it's Dakar, right? So, to where we are going is what I'm trying to say. La so, uh, la combien d'années? Let's go. Okay. La yopola. On a fait ça, mais combien d'années? Yeah, so, they are level set, level descent. 2017? Yeah. Uh, okay. She really is just confirming uh, that, yes, the airport was finished in 2017, so I was right. So on it a is shell, she knew, don't. Yeah, <laughs> seven, gas station, five five years years station. You guys see Shell? <laughs> There's a Shell gas station right there. There's constructions everywhere, just like <laughs> you guys know everywhere around the airport, around the city, there's always constructions. These constructions were there when I was here. Uh, the constructions is going um, here as well, like everywhere, everywhere else. So guys, as you know, Senegal is French-speaking country, so that's why you're going to be hearing, you know, some French and us uh, speaking French. My version of French, you're going to be hearing that a lot, but... Oui, 
Eric. <rire> Eric va bien. Il va très bien. On oh, était là-bas pour faire un an de notre oncle là. Tu te rappelles? Oui, oui. Ça oui, fait oui. déjà un an. Oui, ça fait un an. Oui. C'était l'année dernière. L'année dernière, oui. Yeah. Yeah. Donc oui, j'étais là-bas. So what I noticed here is we yeah, pay toll a lot. They pay toll a lot. Tout le monde uh, doit bien. Et le boulot, I see that. I see that. I see that. Parce que quand tu te réveilles le matin, là, ça c'est un travail. Parce que ça veut dire que tu te, tu te réveilles, ça veut dire que tu dois travailler. Donc c'est bon. J'ai même la routine de actuellement de, de les heures que je, que, que, que je, me, je me lève. Uh -huh. Même si je ne pas mon réveil, je vais lever à cette heure. <laughs> yellow taxis is yellow taxis everywhere and you guys know they normally compare Senegal to New York City or Paris so you're going to see why Watch this, watch this, watch this. <laughs> you saw that, right? <laughs> That's a police on the right looking for somebody to give a ticket to. La construction là, ils ont commencé à laisser ou bien. Ils ont commencé. Il y a des des habitants dedans. Il y a les gens dedans comme ça. Ils habitent là-bas, oui. Alors, ils n'ont plus, peut-être qu'ils ont commencé jusqu'à ce qu'ils n'ont pas, leur argent est fini. Oui. Et ils n'ont pas de choix pour ne pas payer le loyer. Ah, ils restent dedans comme ça. Comme ça. Oh. Il y a plein de bâtiments qui sont comme ça, qui n'ont pas fini. Tout ça. Wow. We are talking about the residential area. See how all these houses, houses, they look ah. unfinished. They look yeah, like yeah, they are just beaucoup, starting. Donc, But he's saying that they started but they couldn't finish it because of funds or whatever the reason so it's left like that they left it like that but they live in inside they are living so that means it inside is done is uh, livable but the outside is completely looking like it's deserted uh, because again you know you start you're not finishing so I would say maybe that's why sometimes when you're building a house you need to start small uh, but you can see this whole area up by the airport that's how it's the, la the left side the right side they started it but they're not finished but again this is their house this is your place so you're staying in because the inside is already done so you're gonna finish it little by little um, Now we are talking about how expensive, you know, uh, rent is, houses are in Senegal. We are comparing it to Paris. The living expenses in Paris um, and also living expenses in New York. As I was telling you guys uh, last time, Senegal is very, 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 very expensive to live. Um, and I believe the reason, as I said last time, is because everything is in Dakar. That car is very expensive to live because everything is in that car. The development, the jobs, everything is in that car. So the other cities are being neglected. So the other cities, nothing is happening there. So because everything is in that car, everybody's walking there, everybody's living there, everybody's doing everything there. So there's no room. You know, everything is double, I mean, not even double, triple, quadruple. You know, because again, it's just you have to come here to do you know whatever you need to do the businesses everything so my suggestion like i said last time is develop the other cities if you develop the other cities then you're gonna have more work there more opportunities there more houses there so that you can balance it out so that people can live there 
some people may live in other cities and come to Dhaka for work, or you can open some offices in Dhaka, in the other cities. That way you can balance it out so that everybody is not just ha everybody does not have to come to Dhaka in order to have luxury life or to have everything that they want so i think the best thing to do because at this point you have more people than space you have more people than roads you have more people than you know it's crazy it's sanctuary it's too many people in that car so that's what we are just discussing that they should develop the other cities so that people can actually live there because if you develop developing just one um city you're not really developing the whole country. So you need to develop the other cities so that you can, you know, you can, you can see, you can help because right now it is just too much in Dakar. We were just talking about how Africa is going to change so change is going to come. You know, people are waking up. We gotta wake up and change changes coming in Africa. So that's what we are just discussing and we are looking forward to see that. See more of those unfinished buildings, houses, businesses, see how they look. A lot of them. That means that all these that when they are finished. Jibril is just telling us about opportunities in Senegal, you know, how you can come in here, you know, buy a house or buy land and build and do an Airbnb like you guys seen a lot in Ghana. So that's all he's talking about, that there's a lot of opportunities. That's why everybody's coming here. It's just, you know, it is, it, it's just one place, you know what I mean? It's just too small for everybody. <laughs> it's too small and it's time to be thinking about other places. It's time to, you know, to, to, anyway, you guys know what I, what, what, how I feel about it. Open the opportunity to other cities, that's all I'm saying. Let me just let it stuck here because it's going to come to a point where people won't even know how to park, where to drive, how to drive, or where to even walk. You wouldn't have space to walk. It's going to come to a time because, it's, you know, every Senegal, I mean, Dakar is getting too, too small for people.
so for those of you who are always asking why we are cruising over here um exploring dakar um some of you normally asking you know how long it takes to go to africa i literally just had that conversation at the airport before i left atlanta and it just depends um depends on where you're coming from like me i have to take I have to have layover in you know new york um depending on how long is the layover sometimes depending on the airline you might have your layover in 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 france in paris so depending on your airline uh, this one was about 14 or 13 hours um but you know there is a direct flight if you can take it from new york directly here um obviously it is sometimes the shorter uh, the more expensive it is so my mom my mom said that you either have money or you have time. Sometimes you have to choose. <laughs> so if you have, you know, you can afford shorter. Um, so you can definitely, you just have to pay more. But uh, between 13 hours, the average, um, 13 hours, 12 to 13 hours average if the, you know, if the layover is not too, too long. But, you know, I think it's really, um, it is important for us to, you know, especially, you know, um, those of you, my listeners, who, you know, who are not Africans, um, have not been to Africa, not yet, have not been to Africa yet, uh, to see, you know, um, you know, these areas. Um, I know it's not deep, deep, but just to, um, for you guys to see when somebody tell you I am from Senegal, uh, you know, because, you know, a few days ago, I have to really take time to explain. Um, and unfortunately, some people still think that we are still, you know, somebody was saying that somebody still think that we are living on a tree. <laughs> people, unfortunately, some people still, you know, have a different, you know, image of Africa. So, you know, just for you guys to just see. Um, and and also my my people who are abroad and just you know miss home have not seen it you know for you guys to see like I always said um, and also just to compare the progress you know what I mean the progress those of you who were here however long ago for you guys to see how we, it is today but we are getting in 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 the in the we are get it in the city city now um, so you can see I remember this place hey traffic is not too terrible uh, today because again because it's you know Friday morning but traffic in this place oh my god Phew. Hello. But, you know, every time you come back home, you come back to Africa, you see things, it just, it puts smiles in your plate, in your face. I know sometimes we get, you know, I get frustrated for seeing things, the way things are deteriorating or, you know, unjust, but look at this. <laughs> look at how much we, we are, we are making that horse carry. Did you, did you even see that? how much that was was carrying I, I i missed that i hope you guys saw it um you know when i was here last time every time i see a horse carrying so much i said that's animal abuse <laughs> but those horses are strong and they are getting them through day to day it's like that the info whatever that that horse is carrying you're gonna have a whole truck I mean to carry that but just one one horse is carrying that for them and they make sure that they feed those, those horses pretty well uh, but when I see that it just amazes me how much a horse can carry how much a horse can do for its owner as you guys see we're driving through the neighborhoods now this is business area um, of course So as you can see, so you, 
you know you see not all the roads are made I look at this on our right hand side it's not made but it's smooth you know what I mean so it's not like we saw um, before and what you also will notice is the roads are narrow you remember that how I kept saying that there's no space there's no space for parking there's no space for driving because look at this this is two-way driving see so because there's no space goes back to the city's too small too small to even have parking like you guys know there's no even parking you have to park on the street and you have all these trucks um in the midst of all so it's just it's just it, it's room I, I was saying that maybe you know a dakar going to be needing underground underground parking they're gonna have to be building underground um because i mean unless they're gonna have to break shoot, break all of this to to extend the road to enlarging the the roads i don't know how i don't know how because even new buildings when they build a new they they are taking every little space <laughs> they're not even thinking about parking and there's so many cars no parking at all so you can see look at look at this at least this one doesn't have this horse doesn't have too much <laughs> uh, he doesn't have too much um like the other one but it, it amazes me when you're driving and then you see the horses they have to come through too <laughs> they have to get through too it, it just it's it's so nice it's it's nice to be in africa it's nice to see the, how things are um Have you guys noticed there's less taxi, motorcycle taxis than you saw in Benin, you saw it in Togo, and you saw, well, less in Ghana, but do you notice that there's no, uh, do you notice the difference? But I'm sure there might be some areas that they may have more, and we're going to have to explore that together. I can't remember last time if I seen that many, but we will, we will find out, God willing. seen this a lot look at them they don't even mind behind that truck just like you know like any other day i remember seeing that when i was growing up a lot in ghana especially super dangerous but it is what it is So you guys can see the I'm, I'm doing this for a reason right so you guys can see and then you can go back and watch my other videos uh, the other videos that we drove through you can also you can compare um, definitely uh, compare uh, it is the African continent but there are three different countries I mean four different countries this is the you know we have you you, you saw Ghana you saw Benin you saw Togo you saw Senegal before, you see Senegal again. So that's four different countries. So um, I like you guys to compare and, and, and you figure out. See how I'm talking about the roads? You have to wait for the others to, how small and narrow it is. And then that truck has to park there because he doesn't have any other place to park it. So, I have to park on the street because there's no parking. 
C'est comme ça partout, yeah, c'est comme ça à Alomé, au Ghana. Donc, il n'y a pas de parking. Une chose que j'ai aussi remarqué au Sénégal, c'est qu'il y a beaucoup de boutiques boutique. Like you can go like between you you drive one mile you might see like four different boutiques, women boutiques, a lot of women boutiques, boo boos, you know the long dresses, beautiful long dresses, it's a lot of that. So most women are that's 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 what they do. Most women do that. Um, some of them like they will choose specific color like this boutique might be just all white, and the other one will be all black. The other one might be all purple, <laughs> but different, slightly different, you know, uh, style. Uh, we noticed that last time we were here, and you know, it hasn't changed. But this is just driving through this uh, one of the places that we went to the market. You saw that in my other video. That's the that's this area here. We are driving through. We still haven't made it home yet, so we are on our way. So while we were doing that, I thought I'll bring you with me see the horses waiting to be load <laughs> see so you on the road which uh, with a uh, road with uh, cars You have a horse too. The horse has to, the carriage has, I mean, they have to get through too. And there's no other way specifically made for them. We all have to take the same route. I mean, the same road. There's <laughs> This is real life, guys. Um, five hours difference, million, million miles away, but it is happening right the same time, whatever you are, whatever you're doing right now. <laughs> so this is what's happening right now, uh, whatever it is that you are watching this well, if you're watching it right now. But yeah, but there is five hours difference. Um, We are five hours, right now I'm five hours ahead of you. Well, if you're New York time, five hours New York time. So you can see the main road is wider, right? So the main road is wide enough for everybody to share. Freely share and comfortably share. Here's another horse. Every time I see it, I feel like pointing them out like you don't see yourself.
Je ne sais pas si je vais vous exactement le livre. Non, ça ne va pas dire. Hein? C'est moi, normalement, je devais dire là où je suis. <rire> ah, c'est, ah, c'est toi qui dois l'expliquer. Non, le truc ne me dit pas là, là où je suis. La géolocalisation, ne vous dit pas. Uh-uh. Moi, j'ai réglé moi. Tu as quelque chose qui va te dire là, là où tu es? Oui. Yeah, mais il ne va pas, pas le, le dire, mais il, une fois que vous... Il va me montrer quoi? Oui, il va vous, une fois consulté, il va vous montrer là où... Yeah, mon truc ne me montre pas. Je suis sûr que si je vais sur Google, mm-hmm. Google va me dire là où j'étais. Là où tu étais. Mm-hmm. Mais ça, il ne montre pas. Mm-hmm. Il ne montre pas. So, so cette quartier même, c'est, is, je sais que le, le marché, c'est ça. Cette quartier, c'est quoi? Instead of me c'est telling you, this oui. is the street that I'm turning in, this is where I am. It should be showing it um, for you guys to see uh, where I am, the location, information, not, you know, to show it on a screen. So I'm going to have to look into that. If you guys know what that is, let me know. Put it in a comment for me so that when I'm doing things like this, I wouldn't necessarily have to remember because right now, I don't know because you guys know that there's no much signs. Um, for me to tell you, oh, this is it, this is where I am, this is the, the neighborhood, this is a street, because there's no street signs. Mm-hmm. So there, he's saying there's an app, I'm going to look into it, so that when I'm showing you these, the app can actually just display the areas and the, the town and the street names and stuff like that. That would be super cool. So again, if you know, let me know, but I'll look into it. Mm-hmm. En même temps, on a obligé de gagner ici. Oui, pour faire ton oui. truc. Oui. La boule de la boule. Mm-hmm. La maison de la scène n'est pas là. Je suis ici de ce côté. Mais on va prendre ce tour. Ok. Ta copine là où vous voulez faire euh, les habits. a station where people to take a bus to other areas really okay Ah, ok. Mais si c'est le terminus Liberté 5. Verset 5. Liberté 5. Liberté, Liberté 5. Ah, ok. Liberté 5. KFC. KFC. Yeah. <laughs> That is the KFC, yeah. KFC, là, ça ne... Mm-hmm. That's special. <laughs> That's special. KFC special. KFC Senegal Africa. Senegal, yeah. <laughs> Est-ce qu'ils font même uh, uh, avec les mêmes condiments de KFC? Je ne pense pas. Parce c'est que ce n'est pas la même. Fois, c'est une seule fois que j'étais là-bas. Uh-huh. Dans ce là il y a plusieurs fois que j'ai été là-bas. Mm. Mais je ne connais pas les condiments qu'ils mettent de l'autre. Oui, fois. tu ne peux pas comparer. Mais en tout cas, le chicken, mm-hmm. je préfère plus que Jolof que KFC ici. L'autre là, ok. So we are talking about KFC. So there's a KFC 
that you just saw uh, briefly and then Jelof. So they both that competition. So he's saying that he loves Jelof better than KFC. Uh, but he doesn't know. I was wondering, like, does he even taste the KFC? There tastes the same as it tastes in the States. Obviously, he doesn't know because he never tasted the one from the States. So I may have to taste the KFC here <laughs> and, and compare. But he's saying the Jelof, uh, there is a Jelof. Um, it's like a fried chicken place, just like um kfc so that's the comparison um but guys we are about to get close to where i am going so that i can you know uh get out of these clothes and get some shower get some clothes eyes but um uh i hope that you guys you know uh have a now a little, little bit of you can if somebody tells you i'm from senegal you can actually put a picture uh to the name the country you can say oh i've seen it um you know or you know those of you who have not been here you've seen how your town is that car is right now um and also those of you who have been and and have been following me you can see the difference i hope you can appreciate the difference uh compare with the the other the other three countries